See, I come from India. Um, India is largely an agrarian country uh, where 77 percent people practice agriculture or allied sectors uh, as their uh, way of livelihood. And uh, now, agriculture is in serious crisis at the moment, both economic as well as ecological crisis. Uh, a, a national agriculture research system as well as the, the government have not been able to uh, respond uh, to the crisis that has emerged, which has led to two million farmers committing suicides uh, over the last two period, uh, two, uh, two decades. Uh, it continues to be a, a, a challenge. And this challenge is now being picked up by the social movements uh, in a big way. Uh, uh, all over the country, people are uh, experimenting and uh, trying to establish new niche. And one of the important niche that uh, they are seeking to establish is precisely around uh, the uh, use of agroecological principles of uh, uh, intensification, diversification and integration, which uses local resources, local capabilities, upgrades them, gives access to local markets, reduces risk on both input side as well as on output side. Very interesting results have come because they have improved both the soil quality, soil health, environmental health has improved, the food the quality has improved, productivity has uh, been uh, uh, achieved to the same extent as it is achieved in high external input systems of uh, agriculture. In fact, uh, it has uh, uh, also involved the si uh, people uh, from uh, poor peasants backgrounds as well as women in a big way to contribute uh, through their creativity through uh, the development of a number of innovations. In fact, I can give an example that in a uh, uh, state called Andhra Pradesh at the moment, uh, where uh, this particular movement has picked up in a very big way. 1,40,000 hectares, which is 140,000 uh, hectares have uh, been brought under non-pesticide management and they are on to they are going further on agroecological principles side. Even the Department of Science and Technology policy has been uh, influenced, Ministry of Rural Development policy has been influenced. So as a result, something which was just an experiment has started becoming a niche. And it is a direct contribution of uh, social movements. And it has even started influencing the agriculture research community. If you look at uh, today, uh, you know, the experience of agriculture research community, they are in fact now moving forward uh, to uh, a sort of move away from high external input system agriculture to conservation agriculture. And even within conservation agriculture, they are beginning to talk, uh, talk of dry land areas, areas which have actually earlier been ignored by the National Agriculture Research System. And in fact, the as it is a, because the agriculture uh, 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 as practiced in uh, dry land areas uh, or semi-arid areas or areas which have less rainfall and so on and so forth, when they practice agroecological principles, the risks are far less, the farmers gain far more, the livelihoods better, the health better. This, uh, this they are realizing. And the national, as a result, rainfall agriculture mission has been established, which actually is far more conscious of the fact that ecological sustainability is important along with social justice. So if we see now uh, the impact of the, this, what was started as a, a social movement experiment, it is beginning to actually influence the government, it is beginning to have an impact on the agricultural research community. Uh, one can actually generate hope. That is what one can see from such an experience. It means people, once they start moving, scientists move, governments move. So I think the challenge before us is how do we move the people for the goals of ecological sustainability and social justice. Thank you.